over the last week, Upper Peninsula prison employees have picketed to inform the public about a short staffing crisis in the facilities. The workers were joined by friends, family and Upper Peninsula lawmakers. Keweenaw Bureau reporter Thomas Fournier met with Representatives Jen Hill and Greg Markinen in Barraga on Tuesday to find out how Michigan will address this issue. Staff shortages within Michigan's prisons have been an issue for several years. However, the challenge continues to grow that last month the MCOU called on the state to ready the National Guard for aid. Mandatory overtime hours and high officer-to-prisoner ratios are unsafe for workers and prisoners. Exhaustion and burnout can lead to unsafe situations or missteps. Michigan legislators are working on solutions, notably addressing the issue through wages and benefits. Well, the staff shortage has been going on since probably about 1997. Uh, when they started losing their benefits, their health care, their pension. Uh, we need to bring that back if we want to have a healthy uh, correctional fo force in Michigan and, and become one of the top correctional facility states in the nation uh, where we once were at one time. Representative Jen Hill from the 109th District has also introduced a bill that would reduce requirements for corrections officer education, removing prerequisite college credit. We have two bill packages active right now. Uh, there's a pension package that would bring corrections officers into a hybrid plan with a state police pension plan. There is a, a version in the Senate that's come out of committee, it's on the Senate floor. And then last week I introduced a bill that would take off the requirement of 15 hours of college credit for being hired. Other representatives from the Upper Peninsula also attended the Barraga Correctional Facility MCOU informational picket to show support. Representative Greg Markinen and Representative Hill spoke with employees and shared how the crisis has impacted those families. Well, the the staff imp, uh, staff shortage is impacting almost every aspect of the operation here in Berrigan. I'm sure in other uh, facilities as well. Um, you know, it just the staff shortage is causing them to do things and, and operate with you know deprived of sleep and rest and family time, and that's just not a good situation for corrections officers that are asked to do so much with so little for so long that, you know, eventually something's going to happen and we don't want that to happen. Hill shared that her visit inside Berger's prison was eye-opening to how difficult low staffing has been on workers and prisoners. I have three prisons in my district. The 109th has Alger, Berger, and Marquette. And at all of those facilities, they are severely understaffed and having to do mandatory 16-hour shifts. And that is preventing folks from having family life. It's preventing them from being able to get educations to perhaps increase their opportunities. It's uh, getting in the way of many, many things, and we need to address the staffing shortage, which is why we're here today. Markinen added that a bipartisan group plans to meet with Governor Whitmer and Michigan Department of Corrections Director Heidi Washington in the coming days to discuss solutions. Pickets throughout the week were held at the Chippewa and Barracuda Correctional Facilities and at the Marquette Branch Prison. With ABC 10 CW5, this is Thomas Fournier.